Hello everyone, you're watching The Brentwood Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar and in the news this week, Prince Harry has visited the fresh print of Bel Air's mansion in Brentwood. And a family is seeking to press charges after the death of their loved one, Monique Monez. So stay tuned. But first, I want to tell you about our sponsor, Santa Monica College of more than 90 fields of study, is a leader among California's community colleges in transferring students. There's a seat for you at Santa Monica College, so find your classes today. Our top story, a bookstore in Culver City is bringing joy to the community through books, food, and community-focused social causes. You can learn more in this video and be right back with your local news after this. Like I said, there aren't a lot of other places for people to go, so people are lining up to come in on the weekends and browse for books and meet their neighbors. Bookstores are unique nowadays, generally, because there aren't that many left. And um, yet it's very difficult to make numbers work, to pay rent when you're just selling books. So the cafe helps. I want this place to be warm and welcoming and friendly. I want it to be the place where people go in between work and home, where they can relax and maybe bump into friends or neighbors or um, make a new friend or just be by themselves in a comfortable and interesting place. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. A home fit for a prince was the basic gist when comedian James Corden took Harry, the Duke of Sussex, on a tour of LA, stopping briefly at the mansion of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air film set. James does a bit of trying to convince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, to buy a FaceTime to buy the iconic mansion. Harry and Meghan decline the offer, but they toured the facility and the video is a great deal of fun. The family of Monique Monez, a 32-year-old woman who was killed in a violent two-vehicle crash in West Los Angeles last week, is demanding justice. The other vehicle involved in the crash was driven by a teenage boy who sustained moderate inj injuries but is now recovered. Currently, he is not facing charges for the collision, but Monez's family is looking to bring charges against him. The family has also set up a GoFundMe page to recover financial expenses for Monique's funeral. That's all the news that we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliette Lamar and you take care.